is venting your emotions a good idea or not? If you're a coach yourself, should you let your clients vent to you? Um, th that's not an easy answer. So old science, old science says venting is a good idea. Getting your emotions out is a good idea. That's old science. New science actually says, well, venting allows us to relive our negative moments. And I, and I think that that's a big reason why people prefer to go to an NLP trained coach or an NLP trained therapist, because we never bought into that old science in the first place. Because the problem is when someone relives that old context, that thing that's over, that is a negative emotion is all you do is you relive that especially if you relive it as seen through your own eyes. We call that association, where you see what you would see, hear what you would hear, and feel what you would feel. And all that you do is you create learning in the brain, the same emotions release again. And, and so that's not necessarily helpful. If anything, you're just setting up the coding inside the brain the, the negative chemical response, it can actually do a lot of harm. So should we stop venting altogether? Should we uh, stop others to vent to us um, altogether? No, of course not. It's about selective venting, okay? So when you should let somebody else vent to you, you uh, should vent to them, should be based on what is it that is going to be achieved with venting? Venting is only useful when it is not about ruminating or co-ruminating, you know, spiraling the negative emotions further, make it bigger, all that stuff. It's actually only useful to vent if the other person or you as a, as a coach, as a helper, as a change worker, uh, as a friend or whatever, is that if that other person can actually give you another perspective, um, not advice, that's different, but another way of looking at this from perhaps um, helping you or you helping someone else to move them away from this thing that you're venting about, a solution, if you will, a goal that you could set that get out of it. Um, even, so is there something helpful or useful that can happen by someone else listening to this venting or you listening to this venting? So it's about perspective. Um, and, and so if you're venting towards someone else yourself, rather than vent towards everyone is to really think about, well, who is it in my life, um, that has given me great perspectives before, right? Um, and, and the same thing is, is that as you're a coach only allow clients to vent if it's going to be a conversation about movement away from that problem and towards the solution, towards, you know, positive emotions, engagement and flow, positive relationship, um, meaning and purpose, achievement and accomplishment, the markers of well-being. And so um, that's my take uh, on venting and actually science take on venting.